Welcome to the Celebrity Ascent. This is a brand new ship. I'm on an inaugural cruise. I'm gonna do a full walkthrough ship tour. Let's get started. This is the Solarium Pool. Right past the Solarium Pool is the main pool area and the main pool bar. Straight ahead right here is one of the champagne jacuzzis. This is the Ocean View Cafe. All the way in the back is the pizza place and the outside seating area. Let's head on back to the main pool area. I want you to focus on this pool. It is one of the longest pools at sea. It is an excellent spot to relax and lie down in the sun. These ships are amazing when you go on a Caribbean or a European cruise because the pool area is just so comfortable and it's a nice place to relax. They have these little chairs that you can bring right up to the water, stick your toes in the water and relax is what a lot of cruisers enjoy is the entertainment here. For example, throughout the entire cruise, there will be live music played here. Sometimes there will be a DJ and at night you can enjoy dance parties. Every pool area on the Edge class ships has something right here. This is an octopus where you can take a picture. There are plenty of different places to sit in the main pool area. For example, these chairs have beautiful views of the ocean. There are comfortable couches and chairs also in the area. If you go up a deck, you'll see the jogging track right here. And this is where you can get into the champagne hot tubs. And they are really cool. They have beautiful views of the ocean, or you can take a look down at the main pool area. It's a really nice spot to relax while the live music is going on or other events. Let's take a look at the pool bar. The pool bar has stools that go all around. So you can come over here, relax, sit up at the bar. Or if you want to get a drink and head to one of the comfortable spots, there are couches, chairs, sofas, and a lot of them are under an umbrella. It's a cozy spot to relax and enjoy each other's company. Another nice spot to hang out and have a drink is this little bar right here, which overlooks the pool area. At nighttime, they offer amazing dance parties. It's right here at the bar, so you can grab a drink, listen to the live music, and get your groove on. Right around the corner from the pool bar is the Mast Grill. It's a convenient spot to enjoy a hamburger or a hot dog. It's right here in the pool area. A lot of times during the day, on a sea day especially, when you're relaxing by the pool, it's just a convenient spot to come on over and grab yourself a hot dog, hamburger, or something to drink. Over here are the cabanas. You must reserve a cabana if you want to enjoy the space. It's right here at the pool area, and they are across from the magic carpet. This is the magic carpet. It hangs over the edge of the ship. It can go all the way down to the lower decks. It acts as a bar, a restaurant, and a tender. It is amazing. Now it's impressive that it acts as a tender because this has got to go all the way down to the water. You're going to step right off the magic carpet onto the boat and that's going to take you to port. Let's head on over to the solarium. The solarium is right in front of the main pool area. So we're heading toward the front of the ship when we're going to the solarium. The solarium is completely closed in, so you are protected from the elements. Also, they can control the environment. It is a nice place to relax. It's really cool on a hot day. Is what I like to do is I like to come in here after port and enjoy the views off the side of the ship. Over here is the spa cafe and juice bar. It's right here in the solarium. It is a healthy buffet. So come on in, get what you like, but they also offer excellent smoothies. Now, if you have the beverage package, you can get as many smoothies as you like. Let's go into the ocean cafe. When you first walk in, you can grab yourself a delicious gelato up here at the front or a specialty coffee. The Ocean Cafe is the buffet area. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Is what a lot of cruisers like about the buffet area on celebrity ships is that it will change 
depending on the itinerary. So for example, if you're in Europe, it's going to be more of a Mediterranean type cuisine. Keep in mind that the Celebrity Ascent is part of the Edge class. If you like any ship in that class or want to book a Celebrity Cruise, make sure you give me a call and you'll be so glad you did. And there's a reason why, is what we do is we offer discounted rates. Celebrity is known for offering amazing promotion. The cool thing is, is that we offer you those promotions as well. But in addition, we give you an exclusive agency discount. And we do this in many different ways. One, we have our own group space. Two, Celebrity actually gives us promotions to offer you that they don't offer. And three, we give you our own exclusive agency discount. If you like to save money, and I know you do, make sure you give us a call because we offer the best rate guaranteed. These rates are not posted on our website, so you must give us a call. Let me give you a quick walkthrough of deck 16 and 15. Right here is the jogging track. You can see the main pool area. Right here is the jacuzzi hot tub. All the way to the back here is the rooftop garden and restaurant. And then all the way in the back is the sunset bar. Let's take a look at the rooftop garden. It is more toward the back of the ship. Before you get to the rooftop garden, there are a couple of hot tubs on the side. It's a nice spot to lie in the sun, relax, especially if you like jacuzzis. They are see-through, so be careful. When people walk by, they can look into the tub. Over here is the rooftop garden. There are plenty of activities that take place here. For example, you can play paddle ball, watch sporting events. They will offer aerobics in the morning, for example, a stretch class. Also in the area, you're going to find plenty of comfortable places to sit down and relax. This is the rooftop grill. It's part of the specialty dining and an excellent place to have a meal. There are beautiful views of the ocean. It is open air dining. A lot of people enjoy it and it is highly recommended. Over here is the sunset bar. Take a look at this bar. It's all the way at the back of the ship. You can either grab a drink and sit at the bar or you can come over to one of these sofas, chairs, or lounge chairs and enjoy the views off the back of the ship. Now, if you're in the Sunset Bar and you go over to the left, you're gonna see the smoking area, which is far away enough from the Sunset Bar that it won't bother non-smokers. Over here is the spa. The spa offers many different types of services, meta spa services. There is a salon, a barber shop, and they also offer thermal suites. Now, if you want to make an appointment at the salon or the barber shop, I recommend you make it on the first day. The spa offers not only many different types of massages, acupuncture, rejuvenation services, it also offers thermal suites. Let's take a look. These are the thermal suites. When you first walk in, there is a relaxation area which has heated chairs. They have excellent views of the ocean. Normally, you're gonna come into the heated chairs after you relax in one of the rooms. This is the salt therapy room. There is also a Turkish steam room and an aroma steam room. Also, if you like, you can enjoy the sauna. The sauna is right over here in the corner. Keep in mind that to use the thermal suites, you'll either need to get a day or a weekly pass. A deck above the spa is the fitness center. Here you'll find treadmills, stairmasters, plenty of machines. There are free weights. They also offer many different types of classes. So if you want to get into a spin class or a yoga class, I highly recommend that you come in here on the first day of the cruise, see what they offer and sign up for any of those classes. Here in the spa, you're gonna find a trainer that's always available to help you out. So that is a nice perk if you wanna come in and work out and need to ask some questions. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of deck 16. Right here is the retreat pool. It's all the way at the front of the ship. Right past that is the retreat area. This is the outside area of the retreat. Over to the right is the main pool area. 
And then right past that is the mask bar. Let's take a better look at the retreat. The retreat is for cruisers who have booked in suites. It is an exclusive area. If you book into a suite, you're going to have a key card. That key card will allow you to enter into the retreat area. This right here is the pool. I like these chairs, how they hang from the ceiling there. The retreat area is all the way at the front of the ship. There are cabanas, umbrellas, plenty of places to relax and hang out is what i like about the area is that you can order anything you like they'll bring you sandwiches hamburgers or a nice drink now if you want to go up to the bar you can do that as well there is a bar right here in the area downstairs is the retreat lounge this is completely enclosed keep in mind it's part of the retreat so it is an exclusive area for the guests who have booked in suites just want to reiterate that now over here is the Lumini. This is the specialty restaurant for the retreat guests. So if you've booked into a suite, this is gonna be the restaurant that you are going to dine in. It's not actually considered specialty because there is no charge for suite guests. Let's head on up to deck 16. This is the mast bar. It is on the side of the ship. There are comfortable stools. You can hang out here, grab a drink, or you can take your drink over to the side and enjoy the sunset. Let's head on down to deck five. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick preview. We're gonna start off in the theater. Through here is the art gallery. Over here is the club. Then right after that is the world-class bar. Then raw on five. Over here is Grand Central. We're gonna go through the shops. This is the Aurora, then Blue, and then all the way in the back is Eden. Let's head on back to the front of the ship and take a look at the theater. I love this theater. You can see the screen behind the stage. You actually watch shows on the screen and on the stage. It is amazing how they put the two together. Over here is the art gallery. If you'd like to buy art while you're on board, you can buy one of these works. They will offer auctions. Make sure you go to one if you are interested. You'll walk right off the ship with a nice piece of art. This is the club. It spans two decks. Throughout the cruise, during the day, it will offer many different activities here. You can enjoy game shows here. And at night, it's going to turn into the club and it gets rocking. The cool thing about the club is, is that it does span two decks. So it's nice. You can either sit down here at the bar or you can grab a seat up top and people watch. Over here is the world class bar. Enjoy many different types of cocktails made to perfection by a mixologist. This is right above a Grand Central. So you're going to be able to hear all of the action taking place midship. Let's take a look at Raw on 5. This is the seafood restaurant. If you enjoy crab leg, lobster, raw oysters, this is your place. Keep in mind, it is part of the specialty dining. Is what I recommend is I recommend you order the tower. You'll love it. Right across the way is Fine Cut Steakhouse. It's also part of the specialty dining folks if you have a question about specialty and complimentary dining make sure you ask us when you call us we have all of the answers all of our agents are experienced and are here to help you out let's go through the stores so as we're walking down deck five we're going toward the back of the ship if you want to buy something from the shops Wait for a sale. They have great sales and you can negotiate with them. Let's go through Aurora. I really love walking through here. It's fun to take a selfie. It is a perfect spot for a picture. Let's head on in to Blue. Blue is reserved for those who are booked in Aqua Suites, not regular suites. Remember, regular suites go to Lumidi. Aqua Suites come here to blue now if you are booked in a regular suite you can get permission to come into blue if you would like 
to dine here. So there are two specialty restaurants for sweet guests. Aqua Sweets Blue, Regular Sweets Lumini. Let's take a look at Eden. Eden is all the way here at the back of the ship and it consists of three different areas. There is a bar, there is a buffet area for breakfast and lunch, and there is a restaurant. Here in the bar, you can enjoy excellent specialty cocktails. Also, you can enjoy many different types of entertainment here as well. This is the buffet area. So in the morning, you can come in for breakfast, which is really cool because not a lot of people know about it. You can also come in for lunch and order a specialty item. For example, I like to get the sandwiches, which are made to order. Let's go down a deck. So if you go through the Eden Bar, go down the stairs, you're going to go into the restaurant. The restaurant is amazing. The menu items are rooted from nature and are inspired by the regions you visit. The Eden is part of the specialty dining. Celebrity offers amazing packages. They offer drink packages, dining packages. Here's what you're gonna to wanna to do. When you give us a call, you're gonna to wanna to ask us if there is a dining package included in your rate. That way you can go to all the specialty restaurants and not have to pay anything. That way you can get a drink at the bar and it's not gonna cost you any extra. Let's head on down a deck. I'm gonna give you a quick preview. We're coming out of the theater again. Over here are the shops. Then future cruise vacations, the shore excursions desk, the photo gallery. After that is Cafe El Baccio. Here is Grand Central. On the other side is La Gran Bistro, the casino. And then all the way in the back is Cyprus and Cosmopolitan. Let's check out a couple of main dining venues. Now, when I say main dining is what I mean is included in your cruise fare. This is Cosmopolitan. You can enjoy American and regional flares of food. You can come on in any time that the restaurant is open. You can make a reservation. However, when I was on board, I did not need to. They were able to take me anytime. There are four main dining venues back here, and I'm gonna show you each one. Right across the hall from Cosmopolitan is Cyprus. This is the Greek restaurant. One thing I really enjoyed about the complimentary dining is that throughout the cruise, the menu changes. So you don't have to eat the same thing every night if you like to go in the same style of restaurant. Because keep in mind, there are many different types of complimentary dining on the ship. So you can get a wide variety just from going to each one throughout the cruise. Let's head on down deck four. Remember, we're going from the back to the front of the ship. Right as you leave the complimentary dining venues, you're gonna go through more shops. Keep in mind that on some days, they're gonna offer really cool sales and you can get items extremely cheap. So check that out. Let's go through the casino. It is a full casino. They have card tables slot machines you can play craps roulette it's a lot of fun to sit around the roulette table and try your luck if you don't know how to gamble gambling can be extremely difficult for example if you want to play craps but roulette is extremely easy right outside of the casino is the craft social bar this bar has plenty of televisions you can catch your favorite sporting events couches chairs there is a bar. The chairs go all the way around the bar. It's a cool spot to grab a drink before or after dinner. This is Le Grand Bistro. It is the French restaurant. It is part of the specialty dining. You can also come in here for lunch if you like. Keep in mind that Le Bistro offers an amazing show at night. If you want to check that out, it is really cool. A video comes from the ceiling and shines on your plate. You'll want to reserve at least one night to dine here. It is a lot of fun. And check this out. Here's a tip. Do the wine pairing. Let's take a look at one of my favorite spots, Cafe El Baccio. This is the specialty coffee place. You can also get smoothies, teas, and other beverages. You can enjoy treats 
is what I really like is their double cappuccinos. I love to come here in the morning before I go to port, grab myself a specialty coffee, and then hit the road. During the early evening, I like to come and get a nice treat, like a cake or a cookie. Let's head on into Le Voyage. This is an amazing specialty restaurant where global flavors are infused into the menu. So far, all of the reviews that I have read and that you'll see online rates this as an excellent restaurant. So it's definitely one that you're gonna wanna try out. If you have a group, you can sit here at this table, you can reserve it specially. This is the photo gallery. Here you can take a look at the photos that the photographers took of you while you were on board. Just tap your card and the photos are gonna come up. Over here is the shore excursions desk. If you did not book your shore excursion online before you got on the ship, you can book it right here or ask any questions you like. Over here is future cruise. If you book a cruise while you are on board, they will give you excellent incentives. And then remember to call us because we're gonna give you that additional discount. Let me give you a quick preview of deck three. This is the martini bar. Right here is guest services. All the way to the back are a couple of other complimentary dining venues. Let's take a look at Grand Central. This is the heart of the ship. And I love this area. And a lot of other cruisers do too. It is really convenient to have a martini bar right here in the center. It is a fun and amazing spot to enjoy a specialty martini. Hopefully you have the drink package. And if you do, you're going to want to experiment with many of the specialty martinis that are available. A mixologist is going to make that to perfection. Being the heart of the ship, a lot of entertainment takes place here. So you can enjoy live music and other events. You can also grab a seat on a sofa, a chair, or at the bar. They have tables for two, tables for three, and tables for four. The Martini Bar is definitely, in my book, the best place to meet up before dinner to grab a drink. You can enjoy nightly shows by the bartenders and a lot of fun juggling. Over here is guest services. If you have any questions, you can head on over here. They will help you out with whatever you need. You can just head on through the martini bar and on the other side is guest relations. Let's head on to the back of deck three. We're gonna take a look at another couple of complimentary dining venues. And remember folks, when I say complimentary, I mean included in your cruise fare because you are paying for these dining venues. However, they're not gonna charge you while you are on board the ship. And when I say they're gonna charge you, I mean it's in your cruise fare. Over here is Tuscan. This is the Italian restaurant. Now, when you wanna come in and dine at these restaurants, just remember all you have to do is come in. There might be a little bit of a wait, but normally it's not too long. You can make reservations if you like, but I recommend just coming on in. Folks, thank you for joining me on the tour. This is Jason. Remember to get the best rate guaranteed. Give me a call. My number's right there on the screen. Have a wonderful day.